we're on board the Ionic EV28 and we've got no range left, zero mile. So how did we get there? And more importantly, how does it feel in those last percentages of battery capacity? Let's check it out. So we've got 7% battery left on the Ionic 28. We've done 147.5 miles already. So that's been super efficient because of course it is 15 degrees celsius tonight but more like in the 20s uh, during the day and that means we've been yeah having very efficient runs lately so what we want to do is just finish it off i'm not sure whether we'll go down to the uh, zero percent but we're going to use it a bit more So we are about to reach the 150 miles driven and we've done this on 6.2 miles per kilowatt hours which is about 100 watt hours per kilometer. So this is pretty impressive. In fact it's not pretty impressive, this is mighty impressive. And we're down to 6% battery, 5% now. All right, that's interesting. Hopefully we're gonna get home though. Are we? Are we not? This is the game for today. Yes, right, it would like for us to charge the car immediately, which is kind of understandable at this point because we've got 5% battery left, six miles supposedly. In the past, I've not been quite confident that for the last few miles we would be able to do them anyway. And the other thing is we are now running at 125 watt hours per kilometer, which is in fact more than what we've done uh, on average in the journey so that means any calibration would be for less consumption than we are doing now so all of that something to consider if we are trying to get home now so that's why i'm probably not going too quick when going down because i'm making the most here now what i would say about this run this has been using the car for those last 150 miles exactly as we would normally and there's been motorway there's been road driving there's been commuting more classic urban commuting so all of that um, is part of the trip that we are talking about today right so yes maybe here for the final miles of course i'm taking it easy to an extent but i would argue that other than that there has not been any hyper mining per se um, on on the use of this car more classic you know slow driving in the uk because you end up being stuck in traffic that's what you do when you drive in the UK but all of this since uh, what 500 meters now I've just been coasting and that's the beauty obviously of this car which is there's almost infinite coasting now I can feel that the turtle mode has kicked in now I'm gonna show you uh, the turtle mode which has kicked in so that's the big bip we've heard a few seconds ago, right? You can see the little turtle mode is on, right? So that's where we are, 5%, five mile left, supposedly, and of course, uh, it would like for us to charge. We've done our 150 miles now on 6.2 miles per kilowatt hours. Six point three miles per kilowatt hours. We've done one hundred and fifty point seven, and we are left with four percent. So clearly, the final indications. It feels like the miles are going quite a bit faster now. So it would be good to double check at the end whether the gasometer is giving us the right indication. I was saying the consumption is quite a bit higher on this particular final run but that's actually not true anymore because 
after our little coasting exercise, we're down to 91 watt hours per kilometer over 6.4 kilometers. And that is very good and quite similar, frankly, to some of the efficiencies we've seen um, over the last few days, really. Okay, so we still have 4% now and we've done 151.2. Yeah, it's getting a bit tight. There is no question about that. Uh, but yeah, here we go. At this point in time, it's uh, good to remind you that the car has 63.3 thousand miles, right? So that's a bit above 100,000 kilometers. We're gonna let it run a little, 3%, three miles, 151.6. I mean, clearly we're not cruising at 70 miles per hour on the motorway with 3% left, right? There's no question about that. All right, there's very limited power now, 3% and no range left. And of course, no range left is not an awful lot. So it's blinking like a Christmas tree again. Yeah, if at this point you didn't get it that the car would like to be charged, well, something is wrong, right? Because there's plenty of beeping going on. I'm absolutely fine with that. But yeah, clearly not everyone will want to sustain that level of beeping before charging. Right, so I think we're gonna leave it at that. Here we have done uh, 152.2 miles over eight hours of drive. As I said, the car is 63,328 miles and we've done the last run on 6.3 miles per kilowatt hours, which again should be there or thereabouts 100 watt hours per kilometer. We have 3% of battery left and the range is supposedly zero so that's that's kind of what's there in the battery clearly you wouldn't want to go much lower than that already uh, we have gone quite far i would argue right so that's it uh, we're going to put the final stats and also how much battery was used altogether but i think it's going to be a pretty healthy number for a car with a hundred thousand kilometers again proving time and time again that we can get a lot out of that battery and I know there have been comments about who is the regen stat a bit optimistic and maybe it is slightly on this car because it seems sometimes that it's it's getting back nearly the hundred percent especially when you're going downhill which seems a little bit odd but at the end of the day you're judging it on whether or not you can extract all that battery capacity and time and time again with the Ionic, that's what you get. So very good result. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you again another time.